हेलो स्टूडेंट वेलकम टू माय चैनल कंटेनिंग फार्माकोगनासे सब्जेक्ट वीडियो एज पर द पीसीएस सिलेबस सो इन दिस वीडियो वी विल स्टार्ट विद द रेडियो एक्टिव आइसोटोप सो बिफोर स्टार्ट विद दिस टॉपिक प्लीज सब्सक्राइब माय चैनल इफ यू आर न्यू टू माय चैनल सो लाइक एंड शेयर दिस वीडियो एंड डोंट फॉरगेट टू ऐड अ कमेंट सो आई थिंक वी हैव स्टडी अबाउट Isotopes. Isotopes 
these are uh, i so that means similar and tops that is that means place so uh, that is similar place okay so we can say uh, the same place in the periodic table that is the tops okay so isotopes which are having the similar place okay that is these are the elements with same atomic number but differ in their atomic weight so you have to um, uh, remember this kind of a difference that is these isotopes these are particularly elements which are having same atomic number but they are differ in their atomic weight where these isotopes they have same number of protons and the different number of neutrons okay so this is this is nothing but the they are also having the same protons but differ in their uh, numbers of neutrons okay and they have different physical properties because of this they are having different physical properties but same chemical property so here uh, one example is given regarding this uh, carbon isotopes so you can say that these are having the same atomic number that is the 6 but these are having the different atomic weight that is 12 13 and 14 so these kinds of a different isotopes of the carbons these are going to be uh, occur okay but depending uh, on their chemical pro uh, properties they are having uh, sorry differing their uh, different physical properties they are having different shelf life so accordingly they can be used for the study okay so this is generally regarding the isotopes so you come to know that is isotopes are having same atomic number and different atomic weight as well as different proton same number of protons and different number of neutrons okay so next that is the types of isotopes so as i have i told you that is uh, they, there are uh, two types of isotopes that is the radioactive isotopes which is also called as the unstable isotopes and these are also known as radio tops radio stressors radio, uh, radioactive label okay so radio here uh, what is the meaning of this radioactive so radio stands for the radiation as they are unstable they are having the energy and they are going to emit the radiations and isotopes which is, this particularly isotopes as they are possessing the energy therefore these are unstable so this uh, they this particular isotopes they are going to emit the radiation in the form of alpha beta and gamma radiations okay so these radiations are again of different types it is alpha beta and gamma radiations here the example is given that is h3 carbon 14 s35 i uh, 131 okay so these are the different uh, radioactive isotopes okay while the stable isotopes so these are uh, possessing the different or uh, we can say opposite properties as that of the radioactive isotope so they do not emit uh, radiations and these are stable one okay so no radiations are going to be formed so these are uh, h2 c13 n15 okay so these are the stable isotopes so these are two types of uh, isotopes then regarding a uh, radioactive label compound or radioactive label tracer so how uh, this compound this can be used or this um, these are uh, particularly label we are going to see the details uh, of this that is when one or more atom of chemical compound replaced by radio isotopes so in the same atom Uh, uh in the same compound one or more atoms these are need to be replaced by the radio isotopes okay so when these radioactive compounds are used in biosynthetic pathway they are called as a radio tracers means after combination of this isotopes so with radioactive compound and the particular uh, replacement of the particular uh, one or more atoms these radioactive compounds are used in the biosynthetic pathway okay and these are called as the stressors because they are going to trace out the particular pathway uh, the different kinds of intermediates they are going to uh, form so that intermediates are also possessing that ra this radioactive compounds 
or uh, radio labeled uh, this particular intermediates okay so we, it becomes easier to find out that particular intermediate so these are known as the radio tracers in biosynthetic pathway these are used to identify various precursors and intermediates so obviously these are used for the identification or for uh, just knowing the what kind of a precursors and intermediates these are going to be formed in that particular biosynthetic pathway as they get labeled because we are going to use that particular label radio tracer precursors okay the, for example radioactive precursor is introduced in plants for biosynthesis means we are uh, going to use the particular precursor which is needed for the starting any particular uh, type of for biosynthetic reaction okay so that precursor is radioactive uh, and that is uh, generally introduced or we can say injected in the plant for carrying out the biosynthesis and then the intermediates which contain radioisotopes can be identified and thus they act as the radioactive tracer. So that intermediate uh, which, which we are going to form after the introduction of this radioactive precursor that also produces this radio, radioisotopes. So these are called as the radioactive tracers. Then the next step uh, in the uh, tracer uh, technique that is what kind of uh, steps these are going to be involved uh, for this tracer technique. So uh, as we know that is this uh, radioactive isotopes these are particularly used to find out the intermediates which are going to be formed at the time of a biosynthesis of a particular type of a secondary metabolite. So obviously we are getting the different intermediates which are uh, radioactive and uh, finally the product which is obtained from the biosynthesis this is again radioactive. So uh, in one way we can we are going to know the complete pathway which is followed by the um, by that particular precursor for the for, for the biosynthesis of a particular type of a secondary metabolite. But uh, for this uh, we need to introduce that particular radio isotope into that um, precursor and uh, that is need to be go into that particular biosynthetic pathway. So there are some considerations which are needed for uh, carrying out cert cert certain these kinds of uh, uh, tracer technique. So what are these considerations that is the physical and chemical nature of presumed precursor of targeted biochemical reaction that is the pathway should be known for proper radio labeling that means whatever the precursor which are going to introduce or which are going uh, to follow the biosynthetic pathway so that precursors chemical and physical properties must be known properly so that the proper uh, labeling of that isotope is possible and for proper introduction of that isotope for the biosynthesis is also possible okay so uh, for labeling the physical and chemical nature of the precursor must be known then second that is the assumed label compound should involve in biosynthetic reaction means whatever the radioactive isotope we are going to use that should follow the biosynthetic reaction or biosynthetic pathway okay so it must get involved in the same then third the concentration of radio label compound incorporated in biological system should be sufficient to reach the targeted biosynthetic pathway so whatever the concentration with of this radio labeled isotope we are going to use okay so uh, the sufficient uh, amount of that particularly uh, radio label compound should get reach at the targeted uh, biosynthetic pathway okay so that it will uh, produce the particular um, type of uh, secondary metabolites and the last one property that is radio label compound should not damage the system for which it is used okay so it should follow the proper pathway and uh, should not damage the uh, particular pathway okay uh, in which it is used for the biosynthesis purpose so these are the certain considerations 
which are required for the radioactive isotope. So thank you very much for watching this video. Please like and share this video. Also don't forget to add a comment and also subscribe my channel if you are new to my channel. Thank you.